So I wanted to make this video today, and I've got my paper down, written down everything that I wanted to say. And my question is, why are people 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, and they are just now getting saved? Like, that just baffles me. And I was like, how can that be? How can people be that old and they're just now getting saved? Um, and then I started realizing, you know, people make the gospel so hard to understand. They make it like it's this 12-step program of something you've got to do and follow to get saved. And that's just not true. So the gospel, what does the gospel even mean? It means that this is good news. So how do you even get saved? I mean, what does the Bible say? Well, in Romans 10, 9 through 10, it says, If you declare, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, then you will be, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Now, you know, this 12-step program that some religions believe in, they believe that you have to uh, have a water baptism. And that's just not true. Uh, now, of course, once you do get saved... Um, there's nothing wrong with getting water baptized because you are declaring to everyone uh, that you believe that Jesus died on the cross. But that's not something you have to have done to be able to go to heaven. The man on the cross, when he asked God, uh, will you remember me? He didn't have time to get a water baptism. He didn't have time to get water baptized. He didn't have time to. There's a lot of people that's on their deathbed that they don't have time to get water baptized. So that is not uh, a step that you have to do to get baptized, I mean, to, to get saved. And if your church is preaching that, then you need to run because you don't have to be baptized uh, in water to be saved, okay, and to go to heaven. Uh, works is not a step to salvation. You know, there, and I'm not naming any religions, but there's a lot of religions that believe that works are going to get you to heaven. And that's just simply not true. Works is not going to get you anywhere. Uh, if you could really save yourself, if you could really save yourself, and you was just, you really thought you was just high and mighty, and you thought you was just so perfect that you could save yourself, then why did God send his only begotten son to die on the cross for you? He done it because you couldn't do it. You're not good enough. So these people that are out working themselves to heaven, heaven that's not going to happen, okay? You're not going to work yourself to heaven. Because when you sit there and you say, I'm going to work myself to heaven, then Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice. He is the ultimate sacrifice. So then you're putting yourself saying that you're better, that you're the ultimate sacrifice. You can't save yourself. You didn't do anything, okay? Um, also, it says in Psalm 62, 1, Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from within. Acts 2, 21, and anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Acts 16 through 31, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. In Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, it says, Christ shed his blood for all of your sins. So that's all of your sins. That's past, that's present, that's future, Okay. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. We're saved by grace, through faith, in Christ alone. That's how we're saved and that's how we're kept saved. It is something we didn't earn. So you didn't earn it, okay? It's something we don't deserve. 
that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I or whosoever's, that believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. So you're going to admit that you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ is the moment you accept him as your Savior. Not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. So we can't work our way through heaven, okay? We're not going to work our way to heaven. You knocking on people's doors every day, you know, yes, we, we all need to tell people about Jesus and, and the gospel and the good news. But you cannot work your way to heaven. You cannot. Um, and again, water being water baptized is not a 12-step program to get you to heaven, okay? The thief on the cross didn't have time to get saved. He didn't have time to get saved. And that's the reason why it's so sad and it's so imperative that we tell people the gospel. Because I see a lot of churches that they're not preaching on salvation. You know, they're preaching on, uh, they're a motivational speaker. Okay, they're a motivational speaker and they probably get hundreds and thousands of dollars so they want to have this watered-down gospel and tell you that, oh, everybody's going to heaven. No, everybody's not going to heaven. And people can tell you, oh, there's no hell. Yes, there is a hell. There is a hell. And that's where you will go if you do not accept Jesus. I'm not getting paid. I don't get any money off of this platform. I do this because I don't want to see you left behind. I don't want to see anybody left behind because it's going to be a horrible seven years on earth after this rapture. It's going to be horrible. So right now, all you've got to do is accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Believe that he died on the cross and he rose. But if you don't take this opportunity, then that is on you. Because after this and after the rapture, you don't get this anymore. You're not getting grace. You're not getting mercy. You're not getting any of that. You're not getting any of that. You're going to live a horrible seven years on earth. A horrible seven years. And they're going to lie to you. And they're going to deceive you. And they're going to tell you all kinds of reasons of why we are not here. But if this is still on YouTube, I'm letting you know we're not here because Jesus took us. That's where we went to. So, you need to get saved today. Today is the time. Even if the rapture doesn't happen tomorrow, your day may be today. You may go out, die in a car accident, and, and Or you may, you may not get to be 80 laying on your deathbed. But now is the day to get saved. It's not tomorrow. It's, it's today. So again, I'm going to go over that again. In Romans, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. It is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. So you are justified by his blood. He is the ultimate sacrifice, not you. You're not going to work your way to heaven. So you can give that up. You can work your way to try to work your way all day long, but it's not going to do anything. You believing that Jesus died for you, and accepting him as your personal savior is what's going to get you to heaven. Not some 12-step program that some watered-down church has told you. Today is the day of salvation. Get saved. You know, um, don't be 40, 80 years old and going through your life without Jesus. I, I it, it, That just so baffles me that people are that old and they're not getting saved. And I know the reason why it is, is because people make the gospel so hard to understand. But it's not hard. 
it's it's not a 12-step program. It's not works. Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice. Again, get saved today because tomorrow is not promised.